Hello world, Serving Scratcher here, Teacher Surfer Programmer, and in this video, we're continuing on with our From Scratch to Python series to help you transition into text-based programming. In previous tutorials, we have gone ahead and imported a list of spelling words that also have sentences, and we've gone through and extracted the words and the sentences of a line, not all the lines yet, based on this colon as a delimiter, basically the character that splits the two. So we've extracted a word from a line, we've extracted a sentence from a line, and we can wrap those in a custom block called split line. What's left to do? Well, now we need to iterate over each of these lines and separate out all the words into a words list and all the sentences into a sentences list. So let's get stuck into it and do that. First thing we're gonna do is make a new list and call it words. And then I'm also gonna make another new list and call it sentences. These two lists are going to house the words and the sentences of our lines here. And whenever I create one of these lists and we're gonna be putting them in a custom block, then I wanna go ahead and reset them. So I'm going to delete all of the sentences and I'm also gonna delete all the words that we have there as well. Next, what we need to do is something similar to what we did when we were iterating over each of the characters in the line. We want to iterate over each of the lines in our list. So to do that, we're gonna to have to create a new variable. We can't use this underscore i variable because we use it in other functions. Because if we were to read the first line here and set i to one, and then we'd go through and reset that underscore i variable, then we would lose where we're up to in the list here. So we need to have a separate variable. And we're gonna call this one line num, just to represent the line number that we are up to. Okay, so I'm just going to set line number to one, just to be the first line that we want to read and separate. And then we can just grab a repeat block and we can go over to the variables category and grab the length of the lines because the lines is all these, these uh, entries here in our list. So we can repeat it for 10 times. And the thing that we want to repeat is split line. We want to split the lines up, but we're not going to pass it this hard-coded line. We wanna go through and read each individual line. And the way to do that is we can get the item number of lines. So here we go, here's item one of lines. So that would refer to the dash. If I just press that, you can see that changing up there. If I refer to the third item, it'll be this apologize. And boom, there we are there. If I go ahead and refer to the line number, so let me just go and set line number to one, and we get that line number, we can see the line here is set to one. And we get the item of the current value of line number, which is one, remember, it will get that first item in our list, which is dash, should you try and make a dash for the car? So what we'll do is we'll whack that in the split line. And the last thing that we need to do is change the value of not I, but the line number. So what this will do is we'll go through and delete all the sentences, all the words. Let's set the initial line number to one and for 10 times, which is the length of this line's list, we're going to split the line. And we know that just splitting the line creates a word and it creates a sentence based on the colon position. After we've split the line, we're gonna change the line number by one. So one will go to two here and we'll do the same thing for the second line. And we'll keep going until we've gone through this whole list. And that's how we can separate them out. But we're not quite done just yet because we need to start to insert the words and the sentences here. And to do that, we'll need to look at our extract word from line and extract sentence from line custom blocks here. Just to jog your memory, we're just gonna check out the slice custom block just so you can get a refresher of what it is doing. So here's that slice custom block. Remember that we have a text output value that we are populating with either the word or the sentence here. That's what the slice method does. So let's go back down to our extract word line. And when we perform this slice operation, we can read the value of the text output. And what we're gonna do is add that text output to our words list if we're inside the word custom block. And we'll do the exact same thing for our extract sentence from line uh, for the sentence custom block. And instead of words, we will do sentences here. So we're taking that text output that we create in this slice block and we're assigning it whatever value it is to sentences in the sentence custom block and whatever value it is in the words custom block here. 
Okay, and with any luck, when I press this sequence of instructions, we should get a words list populated and a sentences list populated. So let's click it. And there we go, we've got our words separated into our words list here. And we've got our sentences also separated into a sentences list. And yep, they kind of match up, not well, kind of, they exactly match up to what we've got in our lines. The last thing I'd like to do is of course, wrap up these sequence of instructions inside of a custom blocks because they're kind of just hanging here at the moment. So let's go down to our my blocks. Let's create a custom block. And I'm going to call this one extract words and sentences from lines. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this descriptively tells us what it's going to do. So now I can just read this block and I know exactly what it's going to do. It's going to extract word and sentences from lines. And that's pretty much it for how we're going to create the words and sentences in this tutorial. Now I just want to do a bit of a review and go over what we did, how this sort of worked and how it all pieces together. So here we're starting at the high level. We're going, okay, we want to read in all these lines and we want to separate the words and the sentences. Okay. And the key part here is we're going to split the line. So we're going to split whatever line we have. So then we go over here and this is our split line custom block. And for each line, we want to set the colon position inside of that line. I'm just going to turn off our couple of lists there on the stage. So we're going to set that colon position and we're going to extract the word from the line and we're going to extract the sentence from the line. So that's what these two custom blocks are here. And we're using another custom block called slice. And we're just changing the start value, the start index and the end index of that particular slice. Remember a slice is just us cutting up a slab of text into a chunk. So we're, this is like the first chunk, the first word, and this is the second chunk for the sentence. And inside of our slice block, we want to capture what that particular slice is. And we use that using a text output. It's gonna be a little bit different in Python and a little bit easier. A lot of what we're doing here is so much easier in Python, which is great. And lastly, let's finish with where we started and that was getting the colon position because we needed the colon position to figure out where we wanted to slice our words and sentences. And we're slicing our words and sentences because we're wanting to split the line and we're wanting to split the line for each line in our lines list. So that's how you sort of start at the top, the macro view and drill down into the details. So I hope you found that a little bit useful the way that we worked that out. We created a code block, we got it to do one particular thing, which is pretty similar to sort of unit testing uh, in programming as well. And then once we figured out one particular task for this code block, we put it inside of a custom block and we gave it a really descriptive name. Now, one thing that I strongly encourage you to do is right click on these custom blocks and add some comments because you might want to describe what these values mean because down the track, you might forget what this piece of code does. Or if you share this piece of code, maybe you want to have some notes for some other people to view it as well. Obviously it's not essential, but hey, it's really going to help you out down at the track to create what's called like a breadcrumb trail, like in Hansel and Gretel. Okay. All right. So we'll leave this tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we're going to be using our words and sentences to be to create a Google text-to-speech little game uh, that will prepare us for a Scratch game that we could integrate this little uh, Scratch spelling game with. So I look forward to catching you in that tutorial. See you then.